Together, you can see the taller and bigger man AJ Spires from UK CBA in Eastham in the red, local hero Tommy Pope from the Cobra Gym, Del Man, our promoter's gym in the blue corner. He'll be the shorter man as well. But two very physical fighters, they carry a lot of power, and I think this one is going to be pure fireworks, Mal. Well, immediately, you can see Spires is a southpaw here. Interesting to see the style contrast too as a oh wow that was probably the most significant shot so far. Nice stuff from Pope moving away, happy to move away and actually throw off that counter, but that's right, you're right, Chris from Tommy Pope. It's a beautiful left hand, landed flush, got AJ's attention there. And nice to see him actually doing that while moving away as well. You see it right there again. He's happy to throw punches while moving backwards. And you know there's a select few sort of types of guys that can actually knock you out moving backward. But speaking of knockout power, Spires. That guy is dangerous. That said, some good body shots here from Tommy Pope as he gets in. I like his footwork as well, Chris, to get himself out of trouble. He's a thinking fighter. You can see that immediately. And he did those wonderful body shots. And he kept doing them as long as AJ Spires had his gloves tucked up high in his face. You can't see him there. The moment Spires just dropped his guard slightly, Pope was away from there. Good thinking. But a great stiff left hand. That was Spires' best shot of the fight a moment ago. And I'm convinced that guy has serious KO power. Well, when you've got that power, Pope does the right thing. When you're in close, it's harder for your opponent to unleash it. But he's got to keep those hands up, and you can hear his corner here shouting. But it's interesting to see so far, like, it, like, accelerates in action for a moment, and then they slow down and sort of recalculate and adjust. That was Spire's big right hand connecting there. I'm not sure we're going to get a warning here, possibly a low blow. That's yeah, great refereeing. A warning there, you're right, Chris, for hitting low. But you're right, the right came over the top, and Pope's got to be aware of this for the whole fight. Especially it seems that, like, as I was saying a moment ago, Spires has the ability to sort of go from 0 to 100 at a moment's notice. So always dangerous, even if he is obviously getting a little bit outworked so far by his opponent in Tommy You're Pope. Right. I feel Pope is outworking him, and he's thinking well as well. He's got to stay focused. The hard night's work for Pope because it, I think he took the round, as I said, on work rate and shot choice, but you know he's got to be careful 100% of the time. And the most fascinating aspect was he may have taken that round while moving away at times. And you'll notice from the way he was able to connect, as we were saying, off those counters, he was probably a little bit more effective with the striking and arguably also more accurate. So round two, and for me, this is all about how AJ Spires adapts now, Chris. He's got the power, but Pope has had the game strategy for me in the opening round. How does Spires adapt to that? Spires has got to look to cut the ring off. Obviously, Pope, probably most dangerous when he's mobile, but it's funny to see Pope here actually backing off Spires so far. I was listening to Spires' corner, and they were telling him, look, you got to go after this guy hard, early, and fast. But... Will Pope be able to counter that and land more effective strikes as we saw in round one? That's what makes this matchup interesting. Well, the opening of this second round here, what I found compelling was that Spires is happy to let Pope close that ground. But when he does, I feel Pope is better on the inside. And Spires looks baffled there moving away. I mean, you know, he's obviously got all the athletic tools to land the shots that count. There we go. That was that was the best one so far. That's what he needs to do, Chris. That's it there. He doesn't, when they're on the inside, Pope looks the better man with the body shot. Spires, as you said, looks better with that acceleration that he's got. Throw it there, and again, he does it again. This is better from Spires. And Spires trying to put the pedal to the metal, but it's Pope who's looking to floor him in return. Just an incredible style matchup here tonight. At the drop of the dime, changing directions, constant shifts in pace and momentum. It's everything you want in an exciting boxing bout, Mal. That's right, Chris. This one, 
is a really intriguing for me. And that's why I said this is where Pope is most dangerous. And Spire shows with that acceleration off the mark and throwing, even though it's a single shot, he lands it clean and he's coming forward with power. I would want to stay there. I wouldn't want to let Pope go. Oh! Exactly where he needed to be. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable. And as we said, zero to 100, pinpoint bullseye right on the mark. Unbelievable, I think Pope is still- It's all over. I was gonna say, Pope is still glassy-eyed there. He stood up, that guy is so tough. I mean, even the way that he took body shots from Spires at times, didn't even blink. Thank <laughs> you.